Hey, welcome back to Hello Bucks Trading Post, the gun shop inside the antique shop. Or is it an antique shop inside a gun shop? You be the judge. Well, just when I thought I was all done recording Henry videos for a while, they went and did it again. They came out with another rifle line. I'm pretty excited. It's the first one I've seen. We just got this in today. I wanted to share it with you right away. Introducing the Henry Big Boy X model. Or as I like to call the Henry Tactical Lever Action Rifle. Something totally different for Henry this time. Uh, you're, you probably notice it right away. I know I did. I'm thinking to myself, what happened to that beautiful American walnut that we're so used to seeing on all these Henry rifles? They get their walnut out of Missouri, but not this time. They went with a polymer stock set. Something, I believe that's actually a first for Henry, to have a polymer stock set on one of their rifles. There's lots of additions that they added to this as well. Uh, one thing that I'm glad to see that they kept is the side loading gate. Now we're all used to seeing this on a Marlin and a, a Winchester, of course, but Henry's, they always had a magazine tube. That's how you load them, that's how you unload them. Late last year, they came out with a side loading gate uh, series. We did do a video uh, review on the 35 Remington side loading gate. You can look that one up. To give you, give you a quick overview, though, they added this side loading gate. And what's great about that is if you have a fully loaded weapon and you want to unload it, you just rack out your loaded shell. And instead of racking each additional shell, all you got to do is you open up your magazine tube, you dump out your remaining ammo, and you're good to go. What a great idea. I'm really glad they added the side loading gate and kept the magazine tube and added it to the X-Series. I think that's a great idea. Another thing you'll notice, from the factory it comes with a large loop. Living here in Michigan or if you live in a cold climate, it's always nice to have warm hands this time of year. And if you want warm hands, you typically have to have gloves. And when you're wearing gloves, that takes up a lot of real estate for these lever guns. So it gives you a lot more room for your fingers. I'm really glad that they added this to this series. I believe all calibers come with the large loop. Um, this is about a $55 option if you go to add it later. So great addition there. And of course, again, getting back to the polymer stock set, we've got front and rear swivels. Swivel loops, I should say, swivel studs. So all you got to do is add a swivel and you're good to go with your slings. Some of the Henrys don't have uh, any sling studs and you have to, you have to drill out a brand new rifle. Kind of nerve wracking. At any rate, the forearm also has uh, a molded Picatinny rail. It's a four slot Picatinny rail. So of course you can add multiple accessories there. In addition to that, they also added an M-lock slot on the left and the right side. So it's endless. I mean, you could add a laser on the left, a light on the right, a bipod on the, on the rail. There's a sight for you. A lever action rifle with a bipod. Well, it is 2020. What the heck? Uh, or I, I like to tease one of our regulars, Dennis. He adds a lot of everything to every rifle he has, and I'm always teasing him and saying, where's your cup holder at? So you could do that. You could get yourself an M-Lock cup holder, get yourself a Henry coffee mug, and put your coffee mug and your coffee in your M-Lock cup holder while you're shooting. <laughs> He's probably going to do that one of these days. At any rate, we're going to give you some close-up, show you the, the details on this and give you a close-up right now. So let's take a closer look at this Henry, see what it's all about. This is model number H012MX. It is a 357 model. It'll, of course, shoot the 38 special cartridges as well. It has a shorter barrel than most Henry's, barrel length of 17.4 inches. It is a round barrel. It is threaded, of course. What tactical gun would not be complete without a threaded barrel? Uh, thread size on this is 5 8 by 24. It does come with the thread protector as shown. Total capacity is 7 plus 1. It weighs about 7.3 pounds unloaded. And another addition that they added to this line typically is an option with Henry. They added the fiber optic sights. We've got the green front sight and we've got the orange rear. I'm going to assume these are high-vis sites. Typically, Henry offers high-vis on their website as an uh, upgrade for most models, but they give you the five fiber optics included. I think that's a great idea. Another thing to show you, it is tapped. The receiver is tapped. It's set up for it. It'll take any of the 
most of the Henry scope mounts that, that Henry offers, they offer a Picatinny rail shown here. They also have a Weaver style rail that'll bolt right up to this gun. And then a favorite that I've added uh, to the shop recently is you'll find this on the Henry website. They don't make it, but they carry the tally one piece mount. And what I like about this one, other than being one piece, is you get the rings with it. If you go with the Henry mount, most scopes these days, unless you buy a cheaper scope, um, you have to buy rings separately. So by the time you buy this and you buy a set of rings, you're only about three, four dollars away from buying the one piece mount. So this tends to be a favorite, but this will bolt right up, right up to the receiver. You mount your scope, bore sight it, and you're good to go. As I mentioned, you do get the large loop. It's about a $55 option. And then moving along, side loading gate as I mentioned. And then the forearm. They give you a M-lock slot on both the left and right side. There's your four slot Picatinny rail. And they kept the magazine tube. And here's this side. Recoil pad, rear sling stud, the stippling on the pistol grip isn't aggressive at all. It could be maybe a little bit more aggressive. Here's your M-lock slot, pick a tinny rail, front sling stud, and again fiber optic sight. Again the barrel is a 17.4 inch barrel. It does have a 1 in 16 twist. Threaded, of course. Now we'll give you a shot at the top of the rifle. Fit and finish, as with just about every Henry I've seen, fit and finish is great. A little bit more gap on this, maybe because it's a polymer stock. Your rear fiber optic. Round barrel, which is much lighter to lug around the woods and your front fiber optic. We'll give you a bottom view. Henry logo on the the butt of the pistol grip. That's a nice little touch. Again your rail, your sling swivel, and your magazine tube. I wanted to give you one more shot of the, the Henry logo that's on the bottom of the pistol grip. And then they added the Henry logo on the recoil pad. I thought that was a real nice touch. Typical Henry, first class all the way. They make a fine product, they really do. MSRP price on this rifle is about $970. Street price, you're probably looking at about $790, give or take. So what do you think? Let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. If you like what you saw, click on the like button. Or better yet, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click on subscribe. Tell your friends and help us grow. We also have a link to our new Patreon page. If you're not familiar with what Patreon is, there is a link below. Check it out. Patreon allows viewers to donate to their favorite channel. And in our case, the Trading Post is going to use 100% of the proceeds from Patreon donations to upgrade our equipment and in many cases when we get a new firearm like this I'm not a huge channel where manufacturers are going to send me one of these to test fire hint hint Henry I could use one of these to shoot and actually show folks how great your product is at any rate your patreon donations we're going to use them for brand new models a new model comes out we buy new guns here anyway we're a gun shop but once we shoot those guns I'm not going to sell them new they're a used gun so if we buy a new gun and sell it as used, I'm going to take quite a loss on that, in many cases below what I paid for it. So your donations will help offset that loss. When we get a new model in, we're going to show you all the details like we did in this video, but in addition to, we're going to show you live fire. We're going to take it out, run it through its paces, show you how it shoots, and then when I go to sell it used, the loss that I occur is going to be offset by your Patreon do donations. So we really appreciate any donation you can provide, and again, 100% of the proceeds for this channel are going to go into equipment upgrades 
and we're going to make it a better experience, provide better videos for you. And we got more videos coming your way. Thanks again for tuning in.